All right, so I got up early this morning, started driving. I've been on the road for about an hour and a half or so, and finally got to the spot that I was trying to turn on, and the road is closed, so um, need to do a plan B. Find another spot. I saw a spot back a little bit further, but um, man, the crazy thing was there were some forestry people back here who had the road blocked. They were doing some work, and I asked them if that was okay up here, and they didn't tell me this road was blocked, so it's kind of, oh well. Guess we'll go find someplace else to be today. Man, bummer. All right, so we are at plan B. Funny thing is, this is the second time now that I have driven past a stream, saw a little gate that said fishing access, um, and I drove by, but my gut was saying, you should stop and fish right here. This looks like good water. Um, and then I drove all the way up there and the road's closed. This happened to me in Idaho, uh, way back in the series. Um, I drove past a creek that I was wanting to fish. I drove up to another spot, it was like 20 miles away. Guy there, walked in, didn't catch a fish. The creek looked good, but it was kind of high in the elevation. Went back at the end of the day, um, and I'll link this video, because it was just one of those things where like, you know your gut tells you to do something, and you should just listen sometimes. Um, same thing today. But I went back, fished that creek. The beginning of the, the video, uh, or that trip, at the end of the day, I caught a couple small fish. I wasn't sure I was gonna stay. And then I caught an okay fish, and then I caught a really nice fish, the very last fish I caught, uh, like, the, I mean, almost at dark. Um, and then I ended up staying there for two more days because the creek was so good. So maybe this will work out, and this will be one of those streams where you're like, wow, it's just awesome. Um, because plan A was to go to a trailhead that's up the ways a little bit and hike in uh, and get a little more remote. But I drove past this, saw the little sign, um, and it's just a national forest boundary. So it's private land all the way around, but this one little spot you can get access and then it'll, I guess it'll go behind all this private land and I'll either have to hike back out through the stream. Um, I crossed a bridge up there, probably maybe a mile and a half, two miles. So maybe I'll just hike up to that, call it a day and come back. It's uh, it's 12 o'clock now anyway. So, but anyway, got my seven and a half foot three weight. Uh, gonna do the hopper dropper thing. Um, definitely looks like water for that. Uh, other than that, let's go see if we can catch some fish. Drove all the way out here. Might as well attempt to fish. Now I gotta get down off this rock. All right. I will definitely take the dropper off, I think. Now the fish ate the dry. Pretty small stream, West Slope Cutthroat. Fun is that? All right. From the access back there, the one that says fishing access, public through public property. I've walked, yes, and it's all on video. Yes, sir. With my waiting staff. With my waiting staff. It's all on video. I tell you now, I have not trespassed. I haven't gotten out of the river. I've been in it from, from the beginning. 
I, I'm a veteran of the Navy. I wouldn't lie to you. I don't I don't want to disrespect your property or your rights. I'm just fishing. Everything's going back in the river. So I've been living in my truck for seven weeks. I've been walking and hiking all over Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. I, I walk miles and miles. All I have to do. Okay. Oh, absolutely. I fall down all the time. That's why I have my staff out. And I have Vibram soles with uh, studs in them because I won't use felt because I, I changed too many rivers. So I slip and slide all over. I understand. I understand Montana laws. I, I checked it out, but I haven't been out of the river. That access back there, you said it's a mile back. That's what I've done. I was going to go all the way to the next bridge. I understand. That's why I'm in the river. All right. Hey, puppy. It's a good boy. You're a good boy. I know. So there goes my first interaction with the property owner. Here comes this puppy. How's that, buddy? You're okay. All right. I'm going to keep going up the river. All right. I got a new friend. But you can't come with me. All right. What's that? Yeah, she turned around back there a little bit. Yeah, probably like three football fields. Like a hundred yards after I talked to you, she turned around and went back the other way. Not a problem. Unbelievable. These dogs follow me down the river after he attacked me on the river with accusing me of trespassing. And then he walks down and asks me for help finding his dog. Some people. I switched up to an ant hoping I'd pull a few more fish out from their holes with a big hopper you know put some fish down kind of lands with a plop and I've hooked three fish since I tied it on so pretty cut there I felt like there's probably some more fish that might come up and swipe at a smaller terrestrial pattern than a big size 10 hopper so got me in a little bit of a situation don't you buddy Pop this off, I'm gonna throw the hook and I'm gonna end up breaking my rod tip on. Little bridge cutthroat, pretty guy. 
That's, uh, I don't know if that's public. But here. So my plan, which is why I told him, I was gonna walk back to this bridge. I walked to this bridge and get out. Cause I drove by earlier and checked it out. And there you go, there's a fence, but you clearly have access. They've posted where their property is, but you can get up to the, so just like I told him, not trying to violate your property rights. Just in case anybody was curious, it's a sign with the gate and the stream. It was a good day. Find a way to get back to some place to camp tonight and uh, do some dinner. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. All right, what a fun, interesting day. Uh, I feel like I finally got that Montana experience. Everyone I've ever talked to says somebody's gonna scream at you and accuse you of trespassing and you'll literally be standing in the stream. Um, it was, the guy just couldn't imagine that I'd hiked a mile in the stream. I was like, I don't tell you, dude. Like, it wasn't that hard. It's not that deep. Um, you know, we're at the, you know, it's September. The water's a little bit lower than normal. I mean, anyway, uh, I really thought it was funny when the end of the day, the, da the guy's dog, he came back and was like, hey man, have you seen my dog? Did he walk, did he run away with you? And I was like, yeah. He followed me for about 300 yards and I kept trying to get him to leave. Um, not surprised that he didn't want to live with you. You're not all that cool. Not super fun. Um, kind of not surprised your dog ran away. He was like, take me home, mister. I'm like, I can't take you, mister dog. I just can't take you. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you haven't, check the description. Uh, down there will be linked a road trip playlist video. It's going to have videos from uh, Wyoming when I started, and then Idaho, and now in Montana, and just going to keep going. So there should be a bunch of videos down there for you to catch up. And if you have been watching the series, I appreciate it. Uh, it definitely helps me do what I do. So I thank you for that.